or better when we have money? Okay, um, please, read, please read the yeah. answer. Please read the answer. This one. The, a wise person should be able to uh, cap capitalize, capitalize, capitalize on his wealth, no matter how little or great uh, that is. Uh, there is need to be in debt or do without anything that's a um, vital, vital to vital to us such uh, as good health or medical care, love and friendship and comfortable living. But uh, most of us are not uh, wise. We spend our um, surplus, surplus, surplus uh, on foolish, uh, tran transitory. I don't know this word. Transitory. transitory transitory things and as we have uh, no uh, permanent need for and uh, waste uh, precious moments oh, trying to uh, recover what we have lost modern life has become a never-ending cycle of uh, desperation okay so the question is, how does money play a role in our life and our life quality? Is life better when has when one has more money or less? A wise person should be able to capitalize on his wealth. Okay, according to this person. Okay, if a person is wise, he or she should capitalize. When we say capitalize, he should invest on his wealth. Why? Because no matter how little or great that is, there is no need to be in debt or do without anything that is vital to us, such as good health or medical care, love and friendship and comfortable living. But most of us are not wise. We sp spend our surplus on foolish, transitory things that we have no permanent need for and waste precious moments trying to recover what we have lost. Modern life has become, must become a never-ending cycle of depression. Okay, according to this person, the very important thing that we should invest on is our health. Is our health. Yes. Do you agree? Do you agree? Yes. Yes. Why, why do you think we should invest so much on our health? Why? Um, why we should invest we should uh, continue to to improve our good health why um, i'm not sure about that okay so it is very it is always very important to invest on our good health because when Ever we are healthy, everything is possible. We can continue to look for our job, look for a high paying job that will also pay our daily expenses or even monthly expenses. OK, even if you are hardworking, even if you have you have a very good, stable job, but if you don't have the good health, then. Then. You cannot go to work. You cannot do what are the things that you want to do. That is why this person is telling to us that a wise man should capitalize, should invest more on his wealth because when a person is healthy, everything is possible. He can do or yes, he can do many things. He can do many things. Okay. What about number two? A truly wise person needs nothing in excess. We all need to eat a balanced diet in sufficient quantities to sustain our health. We need 
water and air, we need space and freedom of movement. And we need to maintain ourselves within a fairly wide temperature range. Besides, these minimal physical needs, all else is foolish vanity. We should use our excess time and energy to develop our human relationships, not to bloat ourselves with empty positions. Okay. So, according to this person, what we all need is balanced diet in sufficient quantities to sustain our health. You know what? We don't need uh, over amount of food because we need balanced diet to sustain our, our health because when we eat many food, when we overeat, it will not also good to our health. It will make us also face the obesity and obesity has many uh, diseases related. OK, so all what we need is enough for our body. It doesn't mean that you have to consume plenty amount of food for breakfast. OK, for for 9 a.m. because you need to take in between snacks for 12 I am in for lunch for in between snacks at around 3 p.m. and then you will have your dinner at around 7 p.m. No, it's not like that because the more that we consume food that our body doesn't need is also giving us many health benefits. So instead of spending more amount of money on those unnecessary foods, then it's better for us to be wise, to be wise on investing about balanced diet that will sustain, that will make us always healthy. OK, number four, some people stay married and others get divorced quickly and perhaps repeatedly. Is there any difference between them? Please read. Uh, people who stay happy, uh, happily married for a long time are willing to be uh, patient as they uh, either grow to what on another or learn to live with each other's uh, peculiar, peculiarity, right? Peculiarities, yes. The uh, the ones who can't uh, do that one uh, perfect uh, lasting relationship immediately without putting uh, in sufficient uh, sufficient care or sufficient work care work or work to achieve it achieve it okay now okay let's have this first please first. When we say capitalize on, get as much advantage out of a situation as possible. Okay, you need to invest, you need to put some effort, you need to put some time to take care of your health. Surplus means the amount that is more than what is needed. Okay, surplus means the amount of something more than what is needed. Desperation, worry, and anger that something feels due, not knowing how to deal with a bad situation. Vanity, worthless, trivial, or pointless. Vanity, let's not be uh, guided with the vanity of foods, yes, because it is not good for our health. Peculiarity. Peculiarity means odd or strange in a person's behavior. Strange. Every one of us has peculiar behavior. Okay. Even if you know that person for a quiet some time and you can say that he is good or she is good, but one thing is for sure, she or he has peculiar behavior that you doesn't know yet. When we say peculiar, meaning to say the not usual behavior that you usually see him 
or, or her when you are with him or with her. Okay, that is why in a married life, one must understand the peculiar behavior. Because if the two, yeah, the two individuals, the husband and wife, would not consider, would not take some time to understand the peculiarity of their behavior, then this will end up to divorce or separation. Okay. Transitory, lasting only for a short time. Do you, do you observe, okay, when we have this latest cell phone, it does not last for a lifetime. It only lasts for a short time, meaning to say it is transitory. If you get the highest model, I mean, the latest model of cell phone this year, you know, after one year, your cell phone is no longer the latest in the market because there will be another new high-end models. Do, do you see that? Yeah. Yes. Those are examples of transitory things. It does not, it do not last for a long time, but it only lasts for a short time. Now, if you are a person who capitalize who invest more on these transitory things then you will not what is you will have unending expenses okay no matter how you work so hard but still you cannot enjoy a, a financial stable life because you invest so much on buying the transitory things and at the end of a year, at the end of this, yeah, at the end of few years, you will no longer like the expensive cell phone you bought the other years because it is now not the latest anymore. So we should not invest so much on the transitory things. However, we should invest so much in our health, on our health. Do you get, do you understand his answer? Do you understand his answer? Mm, maybe yes. We should not invest on buying expensive models, latest models of cell phones because it will, it will not last long. However, we should invest our good health because when we are healthy, then we can enjoy this life for a quiet long time. Okay? So that is why we have to invest to give more time, to take care, to be careful with the foods that we eat, to be careful with our hobbies, okay, that, yes, that will also improve to our good health. Okay, next, number two, it is easy to criticize those who do not stay married, but in fact, they are like anyone else. Most long marriages are as unhappy as the ones that break up, but the couples involved in them usually lack the resources, imagination, or courage to seek something better. Okay. So sometimes we would uh, criticize, we would judge that those who are not married, those who are not married do not stay married are sad are sad but in fact there are also long marriages who are unhappy maybe because of the bad behavior of maybe that husband or the wife okay so life is fair those who do not stay married sometimes they may feel loneliness in their life same as true with those people who enjoy their long marriages because at times there will also be point in their lives that they are unhappy okay okay let's, let's have this one do you think the future guarantees us a better life why or why not what will determine our life quality in the future please read 
uh, every day I get up thinking that the day life is going to get a little better. And when you go to bed, how do you feel? How do you uh, some, feel then? Uh, yeah, some days, of course, are filled uh, with bad news and uh, some days don't seem any different than the one before. But that, that doesn't discourage me. I wake up the next morning with the same feeling of optimi optimism. And indeed, indeed uh, although tomorrow may not uh, be better than today, I'm sure that things will be a uh, lot better in a thousand tomorrows. That's only about three years. Okay. Yes. It's all a matter of chance and luck. We all have good times and bad times, but they are not evenly distributed throughout our lives. Many of our friends never seem to get a break and are plagued, plagued by bad lucky day after day, while others just sail through life with no major worries. It is not a matter of intelligence or character, that's true? Absolutely not. Uh, but it is enter entirely uh, a matter of uh, attitude. Yes. Uh, I am convinced uh, we wake, uh, we make our yes. own fortune, mm -mm. whether good or bad. Oh, explain yourself. Uh, a pessimist uh, will never be content with his not, uh, no matter how well he does, but an optimist will maximize uh, the benefits of. Uh, every situation. When we are optimistic of success, we work harder because we expect more. And over time, this becomes a self-fulfilling. Uh, I don't know this word. Pro Fulfilling prophecy. Prophecy. Yes. Mm -hmm. But maybe since the pessimist. Pessimist expects bad things to happen. He works harder at preventive maintenance. So over time, fewer negative events occur and he has fewer failures as a result. Yes, exactly. Now, so life gets better for them both. Optimistic, optimist and uh, pessimist uh, alike. Yes, but my real point is that it does not matter whether one is optimistic or pessimistic. Good things and bad things happen to all us, to us all, at the most unexpected times. No one is guaranteed a better tomorrow. But if he is lucky, he will have one. If he is unlucky, Tomorrow will cause the collapse of all he has. Okay. What do you understand with this conversation? Mm, actually, uh, I, uh, let's have first the the uh, no, the difficult words. Lot means general situation in life, self fulfilling, achieving fulfillment as a result of having been expected or foretold. Prophecy statement that something will happen in the future. Work at, try hard to develop or improve something. Collapse, sudden complete failure or breakdown. Okay, so these are the English words from this conversation. Can you tell me even just a little? What do you understand in this conversation? This is the question. Do you think the future guarantees us better life? Why or why not? What will determine our life, our life quality in the future? Uh, 
Uh, actually, I can't catch up that. Okay, okay, let me explain this to you. Okay, so this is a question. Whether the future guarantees us a better life. Okay, we have now this life, the kind of life. And then the question is, well, tomorrow, will the future promise us a better life? Okay, this is a conversation between the male and the female. Now, male said that every day when he gets up, Every day that I get up thinking that today life is going to get a, light, a little bit better. OK, so this male is uh, always thinking that every day he is going to get up. His life will become better if he has a, a better life today. The moment he will sleep at night and then wake for the rest of the morning, wake up for the rest of the morning. He has in mind that every day his life is getting better. Now the woman said, and when you go to bed, how do you feel then? And then the male answered, some days, of course, are filled with bad news. Some days uh, don't seem any different than anyone be than, yeah, than the one before. Okay. He told, yeah, he told to his friend, the, the female, that though his life is better, but he is not excused with the bad news because sometimes as he continued to travel his life, he also encountered some bad news. But that doesn't discourage him. That doesn't make him feel bad because he is very positive about life. He is very positive. When we say optimism, he is very positive about life. That even if today he received a bad news, but he has this in mind that at the end of the day, tomorrow I will expect for another good things. Okay, so when he, he receives bad news for today, he does not get discouraged. Instead, he is looking forward for the next day because he believed that tomorrow may not, may not, yeah, tomorrow he will receive another good things. He will receive, yes, yeah, some good things. And then the female said, we all have good times and bad times, but they are not evenly distributed to our lives. Okay, the female said, yes, you are right. We have both the good times and the bad times. OK. The male said it's not a matter of intelligence or character. OK, it's not a guarantee when you are very intelligent at school, when you graduated with highest distinction in the university, it's not a guarantee that you will always have good times in your life. It does not. It does not follow that formula because every one of us is entitled to to experience both the good times and the bad times, regardless of our intelligence and our character. OK. OK, now for the male, a, a pessimist will never be content with with his lot, no matter how well he does, but an optimist will will maximize the benefits of every situation. Pessimist, a person who only see, who only sees the negative side of life, okay? When a person always see the negative, the negative sides of life, then he will fail to see the other good sides of life. But the optimist or the positive person will always look at the many benefits of every situation. OK, so just like this COVID-19 pandemic now, for the perspective of the pessimist, for the negative thinker people, they will not see any positive benefits of this pandemic. OK, but for the optimist, for the positive minded person, 
though he says that this pandemic has brought him financial problems, some financial problem, but maybe he could see that this pandemic has given her him more more time another uh, yeah more more time to spend with her his family maybe because yes we are now mandated to have to always stay at home not like before that we can go to anywhere we want to to be but this time since the covid-19 we yeah pandemic is still ongoing we are not allowed to go to many places so with that fact yeah we always have to stay at home with our family and that is now the good side of being oh yeah in this pandemic because you will spend more time with your family okay so that is how the positive thinker people view about every situation okay so whenever it is a bad situation, he always look for the benefits. He can get that bad situation. But for the pessimist, he don't see that. He always sees the bad side. He always sees the negative. OK, so life gets better for them both, optimist and pessimist alike. Yes, but my real point is that it does not matter where one is optimistic or pessimistic. Good things and bad things happen to all of us. At the most unexpected times, no one is guaranteed a better tomorrow. But if he is lucky, he will have one. If he is unlucky tomorrow, then he will cause another collapse of all he has. Okay. So, yes, no matter how intelligent you are, no matter how uh, hardworking you are, there is no guarantee that tomorrow everything will be okay, that you will always be receiving good news because, you know, life is a combination of both some good times and bad times do you understand now yes yes do you believe do you believe that life is a combination of both good times and bad times mm -hmm. yes i think so yes so it's a fact it's a fact because none of us lives a perfect life none no one of us lives a perfect life okay Oh, do you have questions about this topic? Uh, no, I don't have any questions. OK, so this time let's continue to discuss on issue 37. We are now yeah, in this topic and it's about shopping on the web, shopping on the web. The internet has changed our lives in countless ways. Countless means many, so many ways. We can keep in touch with friends. We can keep in touch with friends and acquaintances around the world. Virtually, first, virtually, instantaneously, we can gain access to any library or public database, find a better job, or look for a date. But it has also opened up to the world of online buying, no matter what sort of item we are seeking. We can look for it in the comfort of our home, compare price lists globally, and buy it with our credit cards with very little brother. Bother. Of course, one of the downsides to this is that we may be cheated or even worse. The information we provide could be used to perpetuate identity theft. Another negative quality. Another negative quality is the increased isolation it may bring instead of leaving our homes 
and maximizing with other in the marketplace. We may decide to avoid human contract altogether. OK, now this time. This time. OK, this topic talks about both the advantages and the disadvantages, disadvantages of. How the Internet. Yes, this talks about the disadvantages and advantages of the Internet. Now. The advantages. The advantages, OK, we can gain access to any library we can gain access to any library or public database find a job or look for a date okay we can gain access to any library or public database find a job or look for a date but it has also opened up to yes because of the internet we can easily learn new information do you believe with that? Do you agree with that? Yes. Yes. You don't need to ask someone. But you can just easily surf on the net and find answers for the questions you have. You can easily. Find a job. Right. You can easily find a job. There are many jobs on the Internet. Yes, if you are that very hardworking person, then you can do multi jobs. Then you can earn also. You can also earn many, many amounts, some amount. OK, you can also earn many amount. Or you can look for a partner. Or you can look for a partner. Yeah, yes, there are many individuals who find their partners on the Internet. OK, and you also have. Another chance to. To learn more, to acquire more skills in YouTube. Are you familiar with the YouTube? YouTube. This one. YouTube channel, there are many things that you could learn here. YouTube. Are you familiar with that? Yes. Yes. There are many things that you can learn from that. For girls, they know how to do makeup. Yeah, makeup. And then when you will become expert in doing makeup, then you can earn money from that because you could do the makeup for someone and they will pay it to you. Now, for others who love also baking, they can make a lot of cakes, cake techniques. There are many techniques they can learn from the YouTube. There are many ways and yeah, there are videos that gives you the process on how to do something. OK. And you can also find money. You can also look for a job in the YouTube. There are many just like the vloggers. OK, the vloggers, those are persons who always upload videos upload videos and also yeah informative videos they can get, gain money from it because of the many followers okay so those are some of the few of course easy communication easy communication when you are living away from your family if you are a father you are working whom you are working abroad, so you are away from your family, but then you cannot make it as a problem because there is this internet that will facilitate easy communication with you and your family. Just like what we have this time, you can see the video, you can talk, 
you can see their faces. So working abroad or living abroad is no longer a problem this time because of the internet. Okay, those are the positive sides or the negative, yeah, the positives or the advantages of internet. This time, let's discuss a bit of its negative side. Priceless globally, of course. Okay, here, this is now the, the downside or the disadvantages. Of course, one of the downsides to this is that we may be cheated or even worse. The information we provide could be used to perpetuate identity theft. Okay, cheated. Someone could be cheated this time, especially those who are boyfriends and girlfriends or husband and wives, okay? They could experience cheating, okay? In what way? Because in internet, you can easily, uh, you can easily uh, get to know with anyone. You can easily make friends with anyone. So if you are not loyal to your partner, if you are not loyal to your partner, then you can cheat. You can cheat or you can be cheated. Another negative, okay, another negative, while another negative effect of the internet is, yes, if you are the person who I usually uh, post your personal information on the internet, then it could be used as identity theft. Okay, if you are that person who usually posts about your travels, about your updates, then if there is this bad person or the thief, then they can easily follow you. If you are known to be rich, if you are known to have more money, and you always posted your information on Facebook that this time you are in this guy, you are in this restaurant, okay? And since you are known that you are rich, you have many money, you have a lot of money. And then if you keep on posting your information, your whereabouts on the, on the internet, then it could help the thief identify your location. So in that way, yes, you will be in danger. You will be caught by the thief or the bad person. So that is the negative side of the internet. Another is, another negative quality is the increased isolation it may bring. What do you mean by isolation? Staying alone. Do you believe? that internet will increase our ourselves self isolation isolation meaning to say you stay alone without the other people another negative quality is increased isolation in what way that internet in what way that internet makes us isolated or alone do you observe that those people who spend many times on the internet on the computer on the cell phone they are alone do you observe yeah. that one? Yes. Yeah. Yes. They don't have time to have this face-to-face -face communication with the, the friends. They don't have the time to laugh out loud, to talk with our friends, with our close friends, yeah, in, in person. Because most of the time, they will do the internet activity, and then they will just stop and pause for a while for, for, for their food. 
And after that one, they will go back again to their internet activity. So with that, for the rest of the day, they are alone. So they are being isolated. Okay, this is another negative effects of internet. Yes. Instead of leaving our homes and mixing with others in the marketplace, we may decide to avoid human contact altogether. Yes. Yes. Instead of leaving our homes and mixing with others in the marketplace, we may decide to avoid human contact altogether because we are uh, having so much fun on doing and ending activities on the internet. So these are now the negative sides of internet. Do you agree with this? Do you agree with the negative effects of the internet? Yes. Yes. First is, yeah, it is very dangerous. It is very dangerous to always post about the happenings of your life on Facebook, especially when you are known to be rich. It's not good to always see that uh, I'm on this restaurant right now because those bad persons, the thief, can easily follow you, can easily trace your activity. And you know, there are some bad, of course, there are, uh, this kind of people exist in this world. Okay, thief. Okay. Now, there are some reasons here. Why do you shop on the web? It is easy and convenient. It is cheaper. It saves time. Returning unsatisfactory items is easy. Quality is guaranteed. I don't like crowds. Purchasing options are seemingly infinite. I rarely buy anything online. Can you choose which one do you like from the choices? Uh, I think the first, uh, that's a easy and convenient. Yes, easy and convenient. Easy uh, and convenient. And uh, Save time. Save time. Yeah. Yes. Easy and convenient, and then saves time. What else? What else? Um, that's so, I think so. Yes, easy and convenient and it saves time it's easy and convenient and it saves time yes because this time when you order when you order uh, items online it can be easily delivered on your home okay you don't have you don't need to go to the store you don't need to spend some time to fall in line yeah, with the, the long line on the counter just to pay the items you paid. But when you shop online, yes, it will be easily delivered on your door. <clears throat> okay. Of course, it saves time. While waiting, for your, or, while waiting for your order to arrive, you can do a lot of works at home. You can do a lot of works at home. Okay, next. All right. Here, let's have, let's have countless, too many to be counted. Access entry, virtually almost completely. Downside, disadvantage or negative aspect. Perpetrate, do something that is harmful illegal or dishonest, infinite, having no limits or endless. Okay, so that's it. Okay, I don't like shopping by internet. 
Okay. I prefer to do all my buying in person so I can feel, smell, and see the product directly. If it is an item of clothing, I want to be able to try it on before I get it. And besides, shopping is on my major social occasions. Why would I want to pass it up? Okay. This person doesn't like to buy things on the internet because she wants to, to feel, smell, and see the product directly. She wants to, to fit, to try on the product directly. Okay? If he wants to buy clothing, she wants to be able to try it on before, I, before he gets it. Before he, he gets it. And besides shopping, yeah, according to her, shopping is one of her major social occasions. That is why he always like to, to do shopping. Yeah, going to the, to the store, to the physical store, not doing the online. Number two. Okay, please read number two. Uh, we have to be very careful about buying something sight unseen. Uh, the quality may not be as good as uh, we were uh, led to believe. And it may be a real hassle uh, to return an item by mail. But otherwise, I very much enjoy uh, the experience of buying online, uh, mainly because I can do it anytime I want to. I don't have to worry if the store is open or not. I don't have to find a place to park, and there isn't any uh, sales uh, clerk uh, pressuring me to purchase uh, something. I love it. Okay. We have to, according to him, according to him or her, we have to be very careful about buying something sight unseen. The quality may not be as good as we were le led to believe. And it may be a real hassle to return an item by mail. But otherwise, I very much enjoy the experience of buying online, mainly because I can do it anytime I want to. I don't have to worry if the store is open or not. I don't have to find a place to park and there isn't any sales clerk pressuring me to purchase something I love. I love it. Okay, she is just giving an advice that let's have to be very careful. <coughs> let's have to be very careful in buying things online because we cannot see it directly in our eyes. We cannot detect. Maybe there are some errors or there are some problems with the item. So that is why he said that we should be very careful in buying the things. What about you? You have said a while ago that you like online buying, online shopping. Did you encounter some problems? In online shopping, in on yeah, in online shopping. Uh, can you repeat? Uh, I I can catch up. Okay, I uh, you said to me a while ago that you like <clears throat> online buying or online shopping. Did you encounter? Did you experience some problems about the items or the products you bought online? <clears throat> Uh, actually, I very rarely to buy online, and okay. uh, yes, almost thing I I buy online that's in the book because in my province, uh, we don't have any bookstores really okay. big for every okay. item of books. Okay. Uh, so that's why I choose the um buying book online. Yes, and um, I don't have a bad experience by online. Mm -hmm because I'm rarely to buy that. Uh, but my friend and especially my neighbor, they, all, uh, they, they face many problems. And especially when they want to buy a, a clothes on the internet, 
when they saw the picture on the shop online really uh, cute. Uh, but when they uh, received the real thing, uh, they can't uh, believe uh, uh, that really bad and the quality not good and uh, adverse. So we have uh, many uh, bad experience by online nowadays. Yeah. Okay. Okay. In your case, in your part, you don't have, you did not have any negative experience about online O. When I listened to your answer, I, I was amazed when I know that you like story, you usually buy books online. Wow, it's amazing. <laughs> Do you like to read books? Um, um, I, I just like uh, book. Uh, when I hear some uh, uh, some people, uh, especially the uh, businessmen, talk about the good book uh, for business. Oh, okay. Buy is uh, absolute um, uh, as soon as possible. Um, but uh, when I buy it, uh, I really lazy uh, to read. Malin, malin, malin. Nai tau. Okay. Yeah, because I am uh, feel uh, sleepy when I read uh, a book. So that's why I'm really lazy. Oh, okay. Okay. So you like to read business books. You like to read business books. Yes. Yes, <laughs> that's very good of you. That's very good of you. Okay, there are many yeah helpful business books I've I've also read. I've also heard from other people. Okay, so I think you can never go wrong having bad experience of buying books online because yeah, it's different from the clothes because the the problem when you buy clothes online. There is a problem that when it arrives, yeah, it doesn't fit you, whether it is small or big to you. So, or whether you don't like the, the actual, the actual color, uh, okay, it's different from the picture you saw online. But buying books online, I think you can never go wrong with that because, yeah, you, you will receive what, what you see in the internet or online. Okay, so tomorrow I went to our next class. Ah, uh, yeah, Wednesday, Saturday. Okay, on Saturday we will continue to learn. Oh, so we are now in issue 37. We are now in issue 37. So we are almost done with this book. I th yeah, this book contains 40 topics. So 37, 38. Okay, 38, 38. Okay. Oh, on next meeting on Saturday, we will continue to discuss these questions, to answer these questions and continue. Yeah, this is short topic. This is short topic. Okay. Do you have questions for this morning's class? Uh, no. Okay. Yes, I am preparing for another a book. Everyone speaks or express yourself. Yeah, express yourself is also another interesting book for you to talk on, to discuss on. Okay, thank you so much for your time. Happy Wednesday. Uh, more power to your business. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> okay, okay. Have a good time with your wife and with your children. Thank you so much for your time and see you on, on Saturday. Goodbye. Thank you,